It is a beautiful Sunday morning here in southern Alberta and I feel like on a day like today the mountains are just calling me. So I think that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, go for a little bit of a hike, see where it takes me, you know? It's kind of that, uh, getting to be that awkward time of year when there's not enough snow to really do winter sports, but it's not uh, spring or summer yet. I don't know, it kind of feels like the mountains are calling me to them today. They're like, Ryan, come hiking me. Ryan, come on, buddy. I've decided to head up to Mount Yamnaska. It is one of the closest mountains to Calgary. It's about uh, 60 or 70 kilometers from the city limits west. When you drive into the Bow Valley towards Banff, this will be one of the first mountains you're going to see on the right. And it's a quite an, it's an easy climb. I'm kind of getting a late start today, so we'll see how, how high I end up getting. But uh, I also had a request from one of my viewers to uh, throw some recipe videos on my channel. And I thought, what a great idea, but I'm not really that great with recipes. I kind of just eat whatever. But what I think I will do today on today's video is I'm going to sort of show you guys what I eat in a day as a vegan. And, you know, it takes quite a few calories to, uh, to go climb the mountain. So what do I eat in a day that has enough calories to sustain me to go do this hard work? We're going to find out. I'm going to be throwing that in this video too. Usually oatmeal is my go-to breakfast on a day-to-day -day basis. It only takes about 10 minutes in the Instapot and it is ready to go. I'll top my oatmeal with some hemp hearts, some pumpkin seeds, and some almond milk. You might wonder why would it be hard to get enough calories on a plant-based diet to do activities. Well, it's just because the plant food is less calorically dense than the animal food. So if you're used to eating animal food, you're used to eating a small volume of food compared to how many calories you're going to get. So when you switch to plant food, you have to eat a greater volume of food. Cause it's all right. Everything will work out fine. Cause it's all right. Going to the end of the line. Just gonna stop at Save On and grab a few things before I hit the road. Mmm, this is what I'm looking for. I'm just about at Mount Yamaska. See it, it is just right over there. to slip and fall on this. I'm getting off pretty easy in uh, Calgary this year for weather. It's 
been absolutely gorgeous. But uh, I think I'm gonna stop and have lunch soon. Ooh -wee. I am absolutely roasting out here. I'm getting to uh, maybe about the halfway point. It's quite slippery, so I don't know if I'm gonna end up making all the way to the top today, just because of how slippery it is and how much snow there is. I definitely overdressed for this as well, because it is boiling hot. This is what I have for lunch today. I didn't show this main made, because actually Holly made this for me. It's a salad with Zucchini, there's tofu in there, little cherry tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, uh, hemp seeds, uh, cilantro, all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to top it off with some of that mother raw dressing. There is the top of Mount Yam. to uh, turn around and head back now for today. I've uh, not uh, really got the gear to continue on. And uh, also, I got kitties at home. I gotta go feed. You can see Ghost Lake all the way from here. And uh, just beyond Ghost Lake is Cochrane. And then Calgary, somewhere over there. This is the view looking uh, on the north side of Mount Yem into the mountain range. This mountain range just goes on forever. That's Mount Wendell over there. Behind there would be the ghost uh, recreation area in Mount Black Rock. I didn't bring crampons. Like, what is this, amateur hour? No, guys, I'm not that big of an amateur at hiking. I just haven't done it in a while. And uh, my expectations were today, up today, weren't too high. You know what I found is the uh, trick to going downhill without crampons? Just go really fast. The more you try to stop yourself, the more you're gonna fall. Just like my advice with skiing too. Uh, the more you try to stop yourself, the more you try to fight that gravity, the more you are going to wipe out, and the more you're gonna fall, and the harder you're gonna work as well. Might as well just let gravity take you. Go with it, and you'll be fine. Unless, of course, there's another skier wiped out in front of you. Then you're just screwed in that case. You're just screwed. Damn. It's been too long since my last hike. I can't, I forgot how amazing of a feeling it is to actually accomplish something. Oh, that was a really amazing hike, guys. I'm definitely beat. Uh, I thought I was gonna be more hungry, but, so I brought some more food, but I'm not feeling just yet. I'm gonna head back towards Cochrane and we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna snack on these blueberries uh, on the way. Decided to uh, just stop and have a little snack on the way home. What I have here, rice and beans and vegetables. I'm just going to throw that into the uh, same bowl as the salad was in, kind of for ease of access. The beans have uh, taco sauce on them, so it's taco spice with water. So it kind of makes them make it taco style. And then what I'm going to put on there, got some guacamole. Save on, throw some guacamole on there, and then fresh salsa. Mm. Mm. Now 
that's good. Finally got home from my hike, and normally I would end this video by now, but I just want to show you guys one more thing that I'm going to eat before I go to bed tonight. So I got all the ingredients I need here for this recipe. I'm going to put uh, one cup of rice, a habanero pepper, some red pepper, some broccoli. Uh, this is uh, vegan kung pao chicken I got from Nan's Noodle House, or Hearts Choices here in Calgary. And uh, I also got some green curry sauce from Nan's Noodle House too. First thing I'll do is I'll start the rice. I'm gonna put in the broccoli. I'm gonna let that broccoli steam. I don't know what it is, I just love steamed broccoli. I take the rest of the ingredients, basically, and throw them in a frying pan. This is it. I don't know what I would call this, but it's like a rice bowl or something. It's delicious though. Anyways, I think that is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, hit that like button, share, and donate to the lucky ones. Oh, Ron's wants to come get some too. You want some too?